Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is Wednesday, April 6th, and we're here with your morning announcements. This week is the last spirit week of the year. Today is Wacky Wednesday, so look out for students dressed up in wacky outfits. Wait, today is Wacky Wednesday? Why did no one tell me? Okay, well, Thursday is Blast of the Past, so dress up like your younger self. And finally, Friday, wear pride colors, supporting the Day of Silence in our LGBTQIA plus community. We can't wait to see all of your creative outfits. Speaking of Wacky Wednesday, let's check out Wolfpack TV's Wackiest Fits. I want to be in the center. Looking super wacky, guys. If you have four or more tardies to any period after first, you are on the no activities list and will need to serve a 15 minute lunch intervention. Every intervention you will attend will reduce your number towards the no activities list by three. It will be held every Tuesday in Miss G's room, HK4, and every Thursday in Mrs. Aguilar's room, HL6, from 12 to 12.15 for early lunch and from 1.25 to 1.40 for late lunch. Please be aware that you must show up on time for your 15 minutes to be counted. Manga buttons are on sale for $1. Pay for it at the student store and then pick your favorite one at the library. We only have limited numbers, so get yours now. Let's pass it on over to Paul and Ashley for your In the News update. Good morning, I'm Paul Vargas. And I'm Ashley Thornton, and we are here with your weekly In the News update. The moratorium, or extension of student loans, has been further moved to August 31st. The pause is basically a suspension of loan payments for college students and has been extended by both Trump and Biden administrations. Today, the U.S. imposed first-time individual sanctions on the daughters of President Putin. It is believed that most of his remaining funds and assets are with his family members, which is the reason for the sanctions. Well, that's all we have for your In the News update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Paul and Ashley. This week is the Week of Silence, a week meant to honor and acknowledge the struggle of LGBTQIA people. On Friday, it is the Day of Silence, where any willing students can participate in a vow of silence to recognize the difficulties LGBTQIA people go through in their everyday lives. Our campus's Rainbow Coalition will be handing out slips for teachers to sign so they are aware of your participation in the Day of Silence. Participants may meet at 7.50 a.m. to take a vow of silence and meet again at 3.20 to break the silence as one. Today at lunch, the Rainbow Coalition will have a booth outside the leadership room for a chance for you to design your own pins. Thursday, there will be a trivia booth with candy prizes. And on Friday, pins will be given out to those who design them today during lunch. Don't forget to check out the library's LGBTQ plus display. On behalf of the Rainbow Coalition, we hope to see you participating with us. Tomorrow, during early and late lunch, the March for Our Lives Club will be holding an informational booth outside the leadership room to spread awareness over the recent Sacramento mass shooting. There will be armbands available to wear in solidarity against gun violence. Attention club leaders, if you're interested in participating in the upcoming indoor food fair, you must go to the informational meeting today at 3.30 in the MP room. Seniors, tickets for Disneyland are on sale now. You can purchase them in the student store during both lunches, the front office, or the front windows of the leadership room. You will need to pay $290, turn in your trip authorization form, and be cleared for the no activities list in order to purchase a ticket. The trip will take place on May 14th, and we hope to see you there. 
also seniors. Just a reminder that the deadline for the OC Family Community Service Scholarship is April 15th. Check your Synergy email or see Ms. Abby in the Career Center for more information. The Oak Grove Youth Commission is hosting a scholarship opportunity for all students in the EUSD. Scan the QR code for the link to the application or check out their Instagram at Oak Grove Youth Commission. Be sure to use your personal email when filling out the applications as school emails will not work. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Sammy Bringus. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a, a wacky, wacky tacky, tacky Wednesday, Wednesday Wolf Pack. pack.